Hey everybody, thanks for joining White Dog Outdoors. This coronavirus thing has kind of thrown a, a hitch in some of our plans. So uh, I think I've made the decision that I'm going to stay local here for the most part. It's kind of an opportunity though, you know. Um, there's, a, there's a stream that's very local. It gets heavily pressured, but it gets heavily stocked. And you know, it's not really been my favorite stream. Um, only because it's such a put and take stream and all the fish that they put in are usually gone pretty quickly but uh, you know on streams like this I think if you get away from the main access points if you go exploring you know you can find some really nice fish that have held over for a couple years and that's my goal today I really first of all I wanted to get out of the house you want a little stir crazy but uh, I wanted to get out of the house hit a stream this one's very local and uh, my goal today really is to explore and to find water today I don't really know what I'm going to find for fish. I do think there are holdovers in this section. You know, it's a it's a section that has a lot of fast water, a lot of pocket water, stuff like that. So if fish are going to hold over, I think they're going to hold over in those areas because it's more suitable habitat. Even if this water gets warm in the summer, that moving water, that oxygen that it's creating is going to help those fish survive. So I think this stretch is going to be pretty decent. I'm hoping that I'll find some, some fish throughout here, but I have no idea. This water is a little bit up. Um, it's not bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than this. Um, we've had rain for the last 24 hours here, but um, I'm basically, I'm going to be out nymphing to, for the most part today. I might throw a streamer a little bit. I'll show you guys what I'm going to use today though. All right, these flies here is basically what I'm going with today. So, um, you know, I, I do use my sexy stone a lot. Um, I'm calling this the bombs, the sexy bomb here because uh, I've tied a lot of weight into this. I figure the water's gonna be up. I wanna be nice and heavy down low without having that current take it away. So I've got a pretty good sized brass bead on here. I've got lead wrapped in and I've got another tungsten weight, tungsten bead added into the body. Um, so that's why I tied up a bunch of sexy stones that have a lot of heavy weight in them. We're gonna be using that today as the point fly. And then I thought this water was gonna be a little more off color. So um, I don't usually use a squirmy worm. But I had a buddy that tied a few up for me, so I thought I'd need something that was going to be seen today. So on the uh, dropper up above, I do have a, a squirmy worm in pink. So, All right, this is our setup today. Let's get fishing. I feel pretty confident with this kind of fishing that if there's something in here, man, I'm going to get bet. Like, I just have so high a confidence level with this kind of fishing. Especially on this river with these flies. I just feel like if there's anything there, I'm getting bet. We need to move upstream a little bit. Fish our next set of seams. But this is the, exactly the kind of hole that I would expect. Look how dark that is right there. This is exactly the kind of hole where I would expect to find a holdover fish. This is a wintering hole, man. Nice, slow, deep water like that with current coming in. Like, that's, that's great water, man. There we go, fish. I didn't even feel him. I don't know how long he had it in his mouth. That was exactly where I thought he would be, though. This is not a huge fish, but I will certainly take it. He looks like he's maybe 12 inches. I think it's a brownie. No, it's a bow. Is it? Looks like a brownie, but it's silvery like a bow. What did he take? What did you? Oh, you took the squirmy. <laughs> oh well. I guess that's why I use the squirmy. It's my first fish ever on a squirmy. It's not bad. Oh, he's pretty. That to me looks like a fish that's been in the river for a while. He's got a little more drab colors. There's no way he's stocked this year, I can tell you that. Beautiful. I'm happy. 
I found a holdover brownie. Uh, totally what I was hoping to find today. I was just saying that this is the perfect hole to find a fish like this. So uh, it looks like I got significant fast water up ahead. So I might spend a little more time on this hole, see if I can find a few holdovers here. But totally excited. This is exactly what I was hoping for today. That fish hit. It wasn't in the shallow, fast-moving stuff. It was right in the in the deep stuff where it really slowed down. And I didn't even feel him hit at all. Gah, there's another one. I think I found him. I definitely found him. That was a nicer fish too, son of a All right, I figured out a nice little holding spot here. There's one. Another squirmy. A pretty one. That one's bigger, slightly. What do we got here? Let's see you, buddy. What are we gonna put you at? We'll put you at six here. Oh yeah, you're 14. 14 incher. I'll take that. Yeah, baby. Look at that beautiful boy, fish. That's a chunk. That is a chunk. Beautiful. Fat, look at that, fat. Nice, man. Fish number three, I missed, uh it's actually fish number two landed, but it's the third fish I've had. Uh, I lost one right after the first, but they are definitely seeming to be in the bottom, right on the bottom, as slow as I can drift it. They're all taking the pink squirmy worm, which is interesting because I've never fished a squirmy worm in my life until today. Um, but I know that black stones and squirmy worms work really well here, so really happy, man. I'm, I'm, I've found one hole that I've had connected with three fish, and... Uh, I got a lot more to explore. I see another bend up there that looks maybe similar. We'll see what happens, but this is awesome. This is about as best as I could have expected today. Totally happy. Okay, so I fished the slow water really, really hard. Um, I am gonna try to fish some of the upstream faster water as well. Um, just in case there's a rainbow. The browns typically, when it's really cold, like the slowest water they can find. Um, this is pretty shallow here, but the rainbows can sometimes be in shallower, faster water. So I know they stock both in here. I'm just going to cover this water as well. See if there's any bows in here. Faster water here, but it's slow on the bottom sometimes. Ooh. Oh, ha, ha. that was not a fish. Totally looked like it. <laughs> All right, we're probably going to skip upstream and try to find another good spot here. Based on what I'm seeing today, I am probably going to skip my fast water and try to focus on the slow water. So now the trick is finding the next piece of slow water here. Oh, okay, so I totally missed the hookup on this one, but I got a real nice one. Real nice one. But I'm a little nervous because there's a... There's a log in here. <laughs> I want to keep them away from that. Real nice one. Like, maybe the best I've ever... Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh my god, I'm stuck. <sighs> okay. Maybe the nicest I've ever caught in this stream. Maybe not. But it's a nice one.
so silvery here. It's so funny. This is not the nicest fish I've ever caught in here, but it's not, it's probably my second best. Oh my God, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh no, <laughs> they always get me like that, don't they? They are not hitting that stone fly at all. It's always on the squirmy. And I just broke off my last real squirmy. I put this guy on. Now uh, you know what? He's a little bit better than the last one, but not a ton. He felt a lot better, bigger than he was. So you are, if I put you at six here, yeah, you're 14 again. You're 14 again. I thought you were better. My biggest from this stream is six, 17. That was a couple of years ago on a dry fly, but still beautiful holdovers. Beautiful, chunky fish, man. Really healthy. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Beautiful fish again. So this is an interesting run, really. I wouldn't even call it a pool because it's moving so fast right now. But it's shallow over here. It's definitely deeper over there. I bet you when the water's not so high, this whole area has got to be really, really good. Um, right now, I think I need to find the slowest water, which may be up there. By the time I'm getting down here, it seems like the water's moving kind of fast. So anyway, I'm just picking this water apart, see if I can figure out where they are. There's fish in here. There's got to be. Got to be. Yeah, I'm looking for slower water, but I think this whole run is fast. So, um, I don't see any slow water here. My only hope is that that edge is deep up there. This may be a good wintering hole when the water's down. Because it's deep, and if it could get a little slower, it'd probably be good. It's just fast. So fast. Oh. Alright, so what I'm doing here is to try and get it down a little bit better. All I'm doing, I'm throwing it further upstream. I got fast water, which means I need to get these flies down as much as possible. A little further out. So throw it upstream try to get it down to depth by the time I get it here I'm on a straight line oh man as soon as it hits bottom though it just takes off so could be bottom could be fish Whoa. Wow. This is a big, f holy crap. <laughs> this is a beast and he took the freaking stone. <sighs> holy sh This is the kind of fish I needed a bigger net for. <laughs> this is probably my best for this river. Holy shnikes. Why do I suck at netting? I had him right there.
Wow. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. This is why, this is definitely my biggest from this stream by far. Not just lengthwise, but like size wise. This is a beast. Beast mode. All right, settle down. I want to see how big you are. Wow, beautiful fish, man. This makes you wonder, is this really a holdover? Oh, you're done. You got some. All right, so let's see. I'm going to put you at 10. You're too big for this net. So that's 10. Yeah, we're like an 18 incher. 17 and a half. Alright baby, you ready? Wow. Look at that. Beautiful big brown. There you go, buddy. There you go. Kick off hard. Woo hoo! Yeah. Now that is what I was hoping for today. Get away from those main areas and this river's really, really healthy. I don't think that many people really think that. But you get away from the main areas and you get fish that people don't catch and keep all the time and you can really get some really big fish man I would love to see a stretch of this become a catch and release only because um, it actually is a really healthy river the bug life in here is phenomenal there's like tons of black stone flies which is what that guy just took he took a sexy bomb which is the basically the black sexy floss uh, stone fly but really really heavy to get down and boy I got him right down deep in the head of this pool and BAM holy crap but that just goes to show you what kind of fish you can get if it's not overfished and if people will release these fish. I never used to have a lot of respect for this particular stream and I am holding it in a completely different light now. That is the fifth I think I've landed. The smallest has been 12. Other than that, they've been 14, 14 and a half. That guy was a 17, probably 17 and a half inch. Thick, thick, healthy brown. That was a really healthy fish. I could not be any freaking happier than I am right now, and I got more river to explore, so let's freaking go. Yeah, right? I think I'm gonna call it quits here. I've covered a lot of water, pretty tired. Um, but uh, I found today that all the fish were really in that slowest water possible. There was nothing in any of the pocket water or faster runs. Everything was in the slowest possible water right along the bottom. So I had to urine it really deep. I used those sexy bombs, really heavy to get down. Um, I ended up five for six today. I'm not sure I got them all on camera. I think I had a couple of camera issues, but um, Anyway, what a phenomenal day. Smallest fish was 12 inches, most of them were 14 inches, and I had the killer 17, 17 and a half inch fat brown today. So definitely the best for me from this particular stream. The next video that we're gonna do is gonna be a throwback video. It's uh, an Adirondack brook trout video that we did a couple years ago, and I just never kind of put it together, but you guys said you wanted to see the small stream wild trout. Well, it doesn't get much better than this next one. So stay tuned for it. It'll be coming up in the coming weeks here. and. Uh, Anyway, thanks for joining us. If you guys like what we're doing, definitely subscribe, and we'll see you soon for our next adventure.